So here is how my belts are set up here. Now, I'll just give a quick tour in case anyone here needs to know what everything looks like. We've got power steering, which adjusts with a slider down at the bottom. There it is. I crawled underneath just for you guys, just so you could see the slider down here. Over here, we've got the smog pump up at the top. Down here, all the way down there is the alternator. Now, when I came here to change the belts the other day, this one was the one that was slipping, making making drama, and uh, glazed really badly underneath. And I went and I looked up what belts I might need for this exact engine, and I got a list. And um, the two that are supposed to be on this pulley, supposedly, are two 15 550s. There's supposed to be two of them on there. Now, when I actually took the belt off, which there was only one belt, it was a single 15 545. So, I tried to put the two 15 550s on there. And um, what I found was, when I put them on there, they were completely tensioned differently from each other before I even started to tighten it. One had a ton of slack, and the other had hardly any slack at all. And then once I started to tighten it, it didn't improve the situation. So then I thought, maybe they got it wrong and for whatever reason I need a 15.545 and a 15.550, so I tried that. And that looked better at first, but then when I started to tighten it, one of them became drastically bad and the other one uh, was basically one was really super tight and the other one was still too loose so I ended up putting just one 15 550 on there and when I did that the um, the power steering pump which is what you know you have to adjust in order to tighten it was incredibly hard to move it looks like the metal is actually chewed up on the slider I ended up having to use a mallet on the end of a crowbar to move it enough to get it at all tight. So, I have a lot of questions here. My thoughts are, maybe there should be a different power steering pump or a different two pulleys on the power steering pump. So I put the wrong two pulleys on there. Or, um, maybe if I was able to adjust it better that it would come into just the right position where the two belts would tension correctly together as it is right now uh, you know there's just no way to move the power steering pump in such a way that it will tension them both together at the same amount so when I get the nearest opportunity I'm probably gonna pull it off of there and smooth down the metal with like a bench grinder or something um, and see if I can slide it more easily if that will allow me to tension the two of them together correctly But I don't really know um, for now I'm just running on one belt But I feel like the belts would last a lot longer and there would be much better performance of the fan if there were two belts so if anyone has any clue how to uh, fix that or what I might be looking at there or just if you have a 1986 Ford E350 gas 7.5 liter engine if you could tell me what belts you're running and what it feels like to tension them that would be incredibly helpful I drew a belt diagram just for future reference and I thought I'd share it with anyone who needs one uh, if you need to change the belts on this engine and uh, just so you can see here this is uh, 15 330 15 380 and then 15 550 here 
And then this is the one in question that I'm not sure what to do with, with the fact that there's supposed to be 215, 550, and I can't get the two of them tensioned up right. So, the advice from the guy at the auto parts store who's pretty knowledgeable was, you're just gonna go crazy, just put one on there and call it good. But I'd really like to have a longer term solution, so if anyone knows what is going on with this, I would appreciate it greatly. As to the person who was uh, suggesting that I should take the um, adjusting arm off instead of taking the radiator off to get this thing out, here's the pivot bolt and here's the arm. And as you can see, it's, it's, I don't know, it looks like quite an ordeal to get off to me. Looks like that bolt would have to come off. I don't, I don't know if you can see that there, but that's like some sort of thing there. And then there's like a thing there. I don't know, it looks like it would be an ordeal. It looks like this whole, all of these arms would have to come off in order to get in here. And I think that's a little, a little more of a project than I would want to get into with the radiator here.